Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Friday, the 30th of September. Man, it's gonna be Halloween month. Before you know it, like really quick, 55 degrees out here. I think the low last night was around 51. It kind of, as I say, it filters the, the temperatures when it's all cloudy and like this. It looks like it rained out here, but it was just fog mist. So if you guys notice my, the sound of my voice when I was out here doing the, the start of the video yesterday, and then when I was leaving, I'm trying to wave at Kelly, you're getting an echo coming through the car. So I'm editing that video last night and I'm going, man, I'm so glad my, my iPhone mini is going to be here tomorrow so I can just unpair this phone with the car and not have to deal with that anymore. Cause this, 13 Pro Max and the 14 Pro Max is coming. It's, it's my camera. It also works as a phone, but I don't pair it with nothing. But anyway, um, put it in airplane mode. So I, I flipped that thing into airplane mode. You should have seen that car freaking out. All the, <laughs> all the messages going, whoa, wait, we just lost the phone. And then the phone's popping up stuff. Wi Fi required to connect to your phone bluetooth require required for media and blah 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 oh man that was funny that acura was freaking out so was my phone but you're messing up my audio i don't know why it and you notice when kelly and i are doing that little thing we get to work a couple of times it, the audio was really weird something to do with that car but anyway even though i kind of disarmed it you shut the car off, open the door, and then it powers down all the media stuff. Otherwise, if you sit inside the car, everything's powered up forever, I think. Anyway, it's Friday. Let's go to work. Look who's coming in today. Oh, dang. Sasha is not happy about this. No. She wasn't happy that I brought him out here. She gets to that gate and just stops. She goes, wait, is it mama staying home today? Poor thing. She loves her days and she loves hanging out with the mama. Yeah. Anyway. It's the weekend, Sasha. So you got the next two days. Let's roll, mama. 60 and cloudy here in Vancouver, mama. It is. So welcome back to work, even though it's the last day of the week. <laughs> well, thank you, Paul. Yeah. She's still moving slow. She get out here and... <laughs> Tries to move around as much as you can because that, you know, it's good. Yeah. And then uh, getting in and out of the car and doing stuff like normal this morning kind of woke her up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sweet. <laughs> you, what do you call yourself? Tonka tub. Yeah, I'd be Tonka tub. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mama. Let's All bust right. out a free eye day. All right. Sounds All like right. A love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. They were already here once. But I think that was, that's FedEx ground. I think it's FedEx Express. Here's my iPhone 12 mini. That Apple absolutely rocks. That is crazy that they received it Wednesday, sent it to a repair shop, it shipped yesterday morning, and now I have it here this morning. I'm so glad to have my phone back. I love that little tiny thing. <laughs> Look how nicely boxed it is and everything. It's almost like getting a new phone, isn't it? I still, I mean, I sent it for a bat. Oh, it's all sealed up. I sent it for a battery issue, but there's no, uh, nothing saying exactly what they did. They just said they repaired it. But I sent it, you know, you, you click the thing, the battery, so. I'm assuming it's got a new battery in it. Love it. There's a work order on the inside. It was the battery. Look at that. It's even got the cover back on it again. Welcome home, my little mini. <laughs> you took a little trip down south and back, but you're back home with a fresh new battery. Ah, oh, dang. So, putting the board in, 
I think I discussed this last night, but anyway, that cleared all but two codes. Uh, the code saying that that has to be replaced first. That's all gone. So there was one, actually it's sort of related to that, but um, it's saying that there's two pins that uh, uh, should be a ground, but they're seeing voltage. And it, of course, the bike just shuts all this stuff off. It's it doesn't it doesn't smoke wires or anything like these things are so like crazy intelligent. So it just basically disables the thing. So <laughs> where it's at is there's a I don't know it's about a fifteen or about a twenty or thirty pin coupler that's inside here. Well that goes through to one side, loops all the way around, comes back into the main harness, and then tees off and runs into this coupler, which is, is uh, kind of a ground module type of thing that's up in there. See where it plugs in? Right there. That's one of them multi-pin jabbers there. Somewhere between inside this box and that big coupler, there's an open circuit and you got to kind of read between the lines when it says it's a short because uh it, it can actually be an open and because of an open it makes something else react and it looks like a short it's not short in the sense like you and i know it like you shorted the battery wires they're kind of weird but anyway i have to find it this loom from here it's kind of going up snaking a little bit sneaking down coming out and this is where it's going into the main loom heading back here this is the main junction going back but it's it's moving up and heading up inside from there so yeah kind of a brain twister i'm trying to you know all these little pit well i've turned the wiring diagram off i know where i'm going now man all those little couplers are so small hey my I, iPhone 12 mini over here talking to me. Let me make sure it's not something. Oh. So, this will be my main phone. Some of you guys have mentioned you've heard uh, things coming through. This phone, well, you probably won't hear it anyway other than notifications. But I'd leave the volume turned off on this thing. But because I had it dual simmed, I needed to use it as my phone. I should... Right from the beginning, I should have just grabbed one of my other phones and threw the SIM card in that. But, um, yeah, see, there's notifications coming across, and you're hearing it from the hidden spot over there. I've got my new screen protector on there, my old case back on, my leather case from Apple. She's ready to rock and roll. But it's something like 48 gigabytes worth of file data has to be loaded. It's crazy. But let me let me dig on. So here's the wire in question. Is this green with that little red red stripe? If you can make that out. Now I can't close this thing one-handed because I gotta tuck some stuff out of the way to keep the lid from from uh, snagging stuff as it's shutting. So hang tight. So over the years, what I've usually found is at a junction, that's where you can find problems. But at this junction, I found something weird. I have two of the same wires. Oh, here's, uh, here's your CAN bus lines running through there. See this swirled up? like wire tied, you know, spun wires, that's CAN bus high and low. You just happen to see where it's sneaking through, running back and forth between ECMs and whatever. But you can clearly see these aren't doing anything, anything weird. Sometimes you can find junctions, like at T's and stuff. No, these are just, these are flowing straight through. But we'll check, and nowhere in the schematic, because this wire is going to that coupler, nowhere in that schematic does it show two of those. 
It just shows though in this area anyway. That's the one that has the open in it between this this coupler and that coupler up there I was showing it to you. Oh, what was me? Good thing I got this tape to tape all this stuff back up. It's funny, BRP calls it rodent resistant tape. <laughs> and the little, it's like a little cartoon picture of it. Uh, this is a BMW, obviously, I'm just saying. Uh, BRP shows a little cartoon picture of it is in the special tools and it shows little little pictures going around the roll of a, of a little mouse or a rat on, on the tape. So uh, the first time I seen that, I thought, I know if I order a roll of that tape, it's not going to have the pictures of the rat or mouse on there. No, it's just, it's just uh, to give you a reminder, it's rodent resistant. They don't like chewing through that stuff. <laughs> Anyway, in this junction, she's uh, she's passing through nice and smoothly. Speaking of rodent-looking thing, so I just use a an exacto, and I just lift very carefully and nip it. I do not want to accidentally snag a wire while I'm running through here with a with a knife or anything. So you just gotta go nice and slow. Pretend like you're Dr. Brackett on an emergency and you're reaching in there doing your magic. <laughs> hey, you guys old enough, we'll, we'll catch that. Oh, you guys remember, what was that, Monday or Tuesday? I rode that 2016 GS and that I was telling you about the boot coming out. <laughs> well, the tech upstairs did a recall and replaced the shaft. I told you all that. And this boot kept popping off from the from the swing arm side. Of course, the dry shaft's driving through the middle of that. And um, so anyway, I the customer comes to pick the thing up, and the thing's hanging out. He was not very happy, needless to say. So uh, service rider brings it down to me. Can you take a look at this? Guy's here. So that's when I go in and look at it. Well, you know, I drop all this stuff out, just like you're taking a drive shaft out. And... Um, so, for whatever reason, the boot's not sticking in there. And it's almost like the rubber was swollen. It wasn't going in the hole correctly. It's just doing some weird stuff. So, you know, this Kluber grease stuff you put on there that... Or BMW, if you ever pop these things off, you see this white pasty stuff in here. Kind of looks like the stuff BRP uses on the uh, um, front sprockets on the spiders. Anyway, to get everything all lubed up, get it all in there, it's just not snapping in like I like it normally does and I'm like man did he mangle this thing and I literally pulled that clip it's a plastic retainer that's on the inside of these things and has these little fingers that holds the the rubber forward and it snaps in the hole so I take it out to see if it's broken or something's damaged oh put it right back in just as the previous tech had and it just doesn't fit right so we tell the guy we're just gonna get another boot um the guy just curious, he rode the thing home. You know, we didn't have one in stock. Rode it home, sends us a picture. We had that little oval-shaped plastic thing in there was upside down. So you took two certified BMW techs to make a complete fool out of the store. It can happen. Nobody's perfect. And we're all proof of that. But, man, Tom, looking like a knucklehead. Yep. Didn't find it. Still got some digging. My worst fear is that it's going to be underneath that framework that holds all that radio stuff. Because all of it has to be completely disconnected to, to lift all that up. Because the wires are shooting up in different holes underneath, going to the radio and all the, and even the control stuff that, you know, where I'm having an issue with it. Being service writer. It's cool police officer and he's being cool and the, the bike he's riding now the, he smoked the clutch out of it it's one of the ones they use for training or something so what he has basically is no good to him either so he's bringing that in to get a clutch put in it and this one's sitting here yep sometimes you just have those things 
But yeah, wiring problems. You don't want any kind of wiring problems with a BMW. Much less a police bike with all the fancy things that thing has on it. But on that, we gon' bounce. Yay, 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 the weekend is here. Friday is playing out. <laughs> How's that for the end of the day? It's only quarter after six. Sunset is at 6.52 tonight. But it, man, it slipped fine in the mountains and it's gone early. That's like the last little bit of sunset out there in the barn. Isn't that pretty? All right. We'll be back here in a little bit because we ain't got no time to uh, do the goodbye. We're run out of light in a hurry. Man, that's pretty. Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome back to the Broke Mama. <laughs> <laughs> broke Back Mama. <laughs> yes, poor the mama. Yeah. I asked her earlier today, well, it was actually towards the end of the day, I just never even, I think I've seen you a couple times this morning, that was it. Yeah. I go, how you doing? She goes, I'm just so busy, I didn't have a chance to think about it. <laughs> yeah. She goes, it hurts when I think about it, but otherwise, yeah, it's been great. Yeah. <laughs> And then coming home, you know, she's like, oh, ah, <clears throat> trying to move around in the car and stuff like that. But, um, she's still sore. Yeah. They'll do that. Oh, oh, hello Daddy. there, Danny boy. Hi, hi. Gentle Danny says, hi, you. Mama. Yes. Say, where'd you go, Mama? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Danny, Danny boy. Well, anyway, I think we're going to bounce to that and start our weekend. All right. You got to get down, down, or down. Danny, good Lord, though. Hey, come on. <laughs> down, 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 down. It's riled up. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Appreciate you all watching. Yes. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.